Good afternoon and welcome to the Structures 2013 Congress Awards presentation. The American Society of Civil Engineers and the Structural Engineering Institute both have long histories of honoring members who make significant contributions to the structural engineering profession through publishing outstanding papers, dedication to technical excellence, and by providing exemplary service to the society or the institute. We are pleased to honor the 2013 award winners here today. We ask that you please hold your applause until the end of the presentation. We begin with awards bestowed by the American Society of Civil Engineers for achievement in the field of structural engineering. The Jack E. Cermak Medal for Achievement in the Field of Wind Engineering and Industrial Aerodynamics was established jointly by the Engineering Mechanics Institute and the Structural Engineering Institute. The 2013 Jack E. Cermak Medal is awarded to William Melbourne. Dr. Melbourne has made significant contributions through his lifelong studies to increase the understanding of the effects of turbulence in problems of bluff body aerodynamics pertinent to wind engineering applications. In addition, he has made key contributions to international and local codes and standards in the field of wind engineering. Dr. Melbourne acknowledges the considerable support and assistance from many over the years, starting at home with his wife and continuing through to colleagues at Monash Mechanical Engineering and MEL Consultants to graduate scholars and engineers at home and abroad. The Short Ridge Hardesty Award is given annually to individuals who have contributed substantially in applying fundamental results of research to the solution of practical engineering problems in the field of structural stability. This year, we honor Ronald D. Zemian as the winner of the Short Ridge Hardesty Award. Dr. Zemian's research into direct analysis modeling of inelastic and elastic stability issues enables professional engineers to quickly and accurately model structural behavior. He has also served as editor of the Structural Stability Research Council's Guide to Stability Design Criteria for Metal Structures, the guiding reference for developers of structural stability design provisions. Dr. Zemian thanks the late William McGuire for being an inspirational mentor and friend who always emphasized the importance of presenting sophisticated topics in a form useful to the practicing engineer. He also expresses sincere gratitude to his wife and children. The Ernest E. Howard Award recognizes a member of the society who has made a definite contribution to the advancement of structural engineering through research, planning, design, or construction. This year, we honor Masayoshi Nakashima as winner of the Ernest E. Howard Award. Dr. Nakashima has been engaged in research and education in the field of structural and earthquake engineering for 30 years. He was the first director of the E-Defense Shake Table, one of the largest in the world, and led more than 40 large-scale tests. He also pioneered the use of pseudodynamic tests where quasi-static loading test and numerical analyses are conducted side by side. Dr. Nakashima would like to extend his sincere gratitude to his mentors, his senior colleagues and advisors for their mentorship, encouragement, advice and assistance in the pursuit of his research. The Moiseev Award is given each year to the authors of a published paper that makes a significant contribution in the field of structural design. The 2013 Moiseev Award is presented to Ginteris Kaklauskas and Viktor Gribniak for their work titled Eliminating Shrinkage Effect from Moment Curvature and Tension Stiffening Relationships of Reinforced Concrete Members, published in the December 2011 issue of the Journal of Structural Engineering. This outstanding paper contributes to structural design and applied mechanics, as well as the theoretical analysis and construction improvement of reinforced concrete engineering structures by examining the effect of shrinkage on moment curvature and tension stiffening relationships. The paper provides a very unique numerical procedure for eliminating shrinkage from these relationships. Professor Kaklauskas wishes to express his profound respect to America and his gratitude to his motherland of Lithuania and its people who taught him to love the world. 
both Professor Kaklauskas and Dr. Gribniak would like to thank their wives for their assistance and help. The Raymond C. Reese Research Prize is given to the authors of a published paper that makes an outstanding contribution to the application of structural engineering research. The 2013 award is presented to Zhang Go Zhan Ma, Samuel Lewis, Zhu Ji He, Qi Xiao, Edwin G. Burdett, and Catherine E. W. French for their paper titled Transverse Joint Details with Tight Bend Diameter U-Bars for Accelerated Bridge Construction, published in the October 2011 issue of the Journal of Structural Engineering. In their paper, the authors describe a notable achievement in research related to structural engineering, specifically bridge engineering. The transverse joint detail with tight bend diameter U-bars facilitates accelerated bridge construction, resulting in more safety and less disruption of traffic. The detail was developed not only for rapid construction, but also for durability and long-term performance based upon experimentation. The team would like to thank the research assistants at the Tennessee Bridge Research Laboratory, whose contributions ensured the lab's success, and the Transportation Research Board of the National Academy's National Cooperative Highway Research Program for funding the study. The Structural Engineering Institute has established awards to recognize those individuals and groups whose contributions have helped advance the goals of the Institute. To encourage and recognize outstanding achievement by local chapters of the Structural Engineering Institute, SEI has established the Chapter of the Year Award. SEI is proud to announce the 2013 winner of this annual honor, the Sacramento Chapter. The Sacramento SEI Chapter has been very active in a variety of activities that support the structural engineering profession. SEI Sacramento successfully offers technical presentations, conferences, tours, community outreach events, and networking opportunities to its members and the local structural engineering community. The Sacramento chapter organizes the Orthotropic Steel Bridge Conference every three to four years, which draws international attendance. The chapter has held community outreach events, notably during Engineers Week, in conjunction with the 100th anniversary of the Girl Scouts of America, and to highlight the engineering and artistic aspects of Native American dwelling structures. The dedicated members of SEI Sacramento are involved in a wide variety of national committees, particularly in development of standards and licensing exams. The SEI Sacramento chapter would like to thank its local nonprofit engineering organization collaborators, the united whole is greater than the parts. We share this honor with members of SEI at both the local and national level. Now in its fourth year, the Student Structural Design Competition challenges universities across the country to submit their innovative projects that demonstrate excellence in structural engineering at the undergraduate level. This year's group of submissions was the most robust yet SEI proudly announces the three finalists of the 2013 Student Structural Design Competition in alphabetical order. The Engineering Hangar Project is submitted by the Cal Poly University team that includes Victor Ramos, Helen Dupre, Kevin Brown, Tyler Edwards, Jason Chen, David Gonzalez, and faculty advisor Brent Nuttall. The Structural Evaluation and Retrofit of a Steel Warehouse Project is submitted by the Seattle University team that includes Amy Korn, Thomas Lynham, Maureen O'Sullivan, Rachel Varanazan, and faculty advisor Professor Catherine Cooter. The Dalian Office Building Project is submitted by the Southern Illinois University Edwardsville team that includes Ryan Holdener, Luke Pothast, and faculty advisors Ryan Fries and Nader Panashahi. All three teams will present their projects during a special session immediately following the plenary in room 305 in the Convention Center. Based upon their presentation and submitted work, the first, second, and third place winners will be announced during this session. 
The Jean Wilhoit Award recipient is chosen from society members in recognition of an individual who has made significant contributions to the advancement of the art and science of transmission line engineering. The 2013 Jean Wilhoit Award is given to Richard F. Akinger. Richard Akinger has spent much of his career in the tubular steel transmission pole fabrication industry. During his career, he has taken particular satisfaction in the design and development of unique structural solutions for customer needs. He developed new arm connections, solutions that complemented an old stone arch bridge crossing, and solutions for diverse environmental conditions such as deserts and hurricane regions. In addition, Mr. Akinger is a member of the ASCE Standards Committees on Design of Steel Transmission Pole Structures, ASCE Standard 48, and the Task Committee on Electrical Transmission Line Structural Loading that develops Manual of Practice Number 74. Mr. Akinger is grateful to the many people during his career who opened a path for his continued growth his current management for supporting an open dialogue with the industry, and a special thanks to the engineers at Valmont who were key in turning the strategy and effort into success. The Dennis L. Tewksbury Award was established in 1999 to recognize an individual member of SCI that has advanced the interests of the Institute through innovative leadership, promoted the growth and visibility of SCI established working relationships between SEI and other structural engineering organizations or has otherwise rendered valuable service to the engineering profession. The 2013 Dennis L. Tewksbury Award is given to Roberto Leone. In addition to serving as president of SEI from 2009 to 2011, Dr. Leone is currently the past president of SEI and was an active member of five SEI technical committees. He is also an active member of the American Institute of Steel Construction, received the AISC T.R. Higgins Award, and is a fellow of the American Concrete Institute. He is currently serving on the editorial boards of four journals in the field of structural engineering and has chaired or co-chaired the organization and delivery of six international conferences. He is currently the incoming president of the Network for Earthquake Engineering Simulation and serves on the Applied Technology Council Board as the SEI Liaison. Dr. Leone would like to thank the many members of the SEI Board who supported his work throughout the years, but would like to especially thank his wife and children, whose patience and encouragement allowed him to dedicate time to professional issues. The Walter P. Moore Jr. Award was established in 1998 to honor the dedication and technical expertise of its namesake and recognize significant contributions to the development of codes and standards. For his contribution, the 2013 Walter P. Moore Jr. Award is given to Satyendra K. Ghosh. Dr. Ghosh is known internationally for his work in earthquake engineering. He has influenced seismic design provisions in the United States for many years. Dr. Ghosh is active on many national technical committees and is a fellow of the American Concrete Institute and the Pre-Stressed Concrete Institute. He is a member of ACI Committee 318 and the ASCE 7 Standard Main Committee and Seismic Subcommittee. He is a former member of the Boards of Direction of ACI and the Earthquake Engineering Research Institute. Dr. Ghosh would like to acknowledge his debt of gratitude to former and current colleagues at PCA and SKGA. He is also grateful to his wife for all her support through the years. The SCI President's Award was established in 2008. The award, which may be bestowed annually, is given at the discretion of the President of the Structural Engineering Institute and recognizes an SEI member who has made exemplary contributions to the success of the Institute. The 2013 President's Award is given to Robert Elliott Nickerson. Mr. Nickerson has been very active in the Technical Activities Division of SEI and is the current Secretary of the Executive Committee of the Technical Activities Division. He is the past chair of the Special Design Issues Committee and the Electrical Transmission Structures Committee and is current chair of the Jean Wilhoyt Awards Committee. 
Mr. Nickerson is the chair of the ASCE Standards Committee on Design of Lattice Steel Transmission Structures, ASCE 10, and has been a key member of ASCE Standards Committees on Design of Steel Transmission Pole Structures, ASCE 48. In addition, he has served on the committees that developed the guidelines for electrical transmission line structural loading, manual number 74, and the guide to design of guide transmission structures, manual number 91. He has been an active steering committee member for the past four electrical transmission and substation conferences and was chair of the 2006 conference. In 2007, he was the recipient of the SEI's Gene Wilhoyd Award and has co-authored many papers presented at the Structures Congress and at the Electrical Transmission and Substation Conferences. Mr. Nickerson's contributions to SEI could only be achieved with the strong support of his wife. He also would like to thank his associates in the electric utility industry for their willingness to educate and share their knowledge through development of standards and manuals of practice. The success of the ASCE and SEI awards program depends on you, our members, to provide nominations of outstanding achievement in structural engineering. Consider nominating a colleague for excellence in technical expertise, publications, or service. Full details on how to submit a nomination are available on the SEI and ASCE websites. ASCE and SEI are pleased to honor all of this year's award winners. At this time, the 2013 award winners are invited to stand and to be recognized. Please join us in a round of applause to congratulate the 2013 ASCE Structural and SEI award winners.